In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift St. Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor, grant through her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom Naturally stupid are all men who have not known God and who, from the good things that are seen, have not been able to discover Him who is, or by studying the works have failed to recognize the artificer. Fire, however, or wind, or the swift air, the sphere of the stars, impetuous water, heaven's lamps, are what they have held to be the gods who govern the world. If charmed by their beauty, they have taken things for gods, let them know how much the Lord of these excels them, since the very author of beauty has created them. And if they have been impressed by their power and energy, let them deduce from these how much mightier is he that has formed them since through the grandeur and beauty of the creatures we may, by analogy, contemplate their author. Small blame, however, attaches to these men, for perhaps they only go astray in their search for God and their eagerness to find Him. Living among His works, they strive to comprehend them, and fall victim to appearances, seeing so much beauty. Even so, they are not to be excused. If they are capable of acquiring enough knowledge to be able to investigate the world, how have they been so slow to find its master? The Word of the Lord the heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of His hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Alleluia, alleluia! The word of God is something alive and active, it can judge secret emotions and thoughts. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in Noah's day, so will it also be in the days of the Son of Man. People were eating and drinking, marrying wives and husbands, right up to the day Noah went into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. It will be the same as it was in Lot's day. People were eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. But the day Lot left Sodom, God rained fire and brimstone from heaven, and it destroyed them all. It will be the same when the day comes for the Son of Man to be revealed. When that day comes, anyone on the housetop with his possessions in the house must not come down to collect them, nor must anyone in the fields turn back either. 
Remember Lord's wife. Anyone who tries to preserve his life will lose it. And anyone who loses it will keep it safe. I tell you, on that night, two will be in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. Two women will be grinding corn together. One will be taken, the other left. The disciples interrupted. Where, Lord? They asked. He said, Where the body is, there too will the vultures gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, have you experienced anger? How often do you get angry? I remember whenever I feel angry, I feel bad the whole day. I'm not happy with myself. Everything I do, I will have grudges about it. And worse, if I see the person that I'm angry with, if he or she looks happy, it makes me even more angry. We know, all of us know, for us to be truly happy, to be truly free, we should forgive, we should let go. But although we know all this, how many times we still choose to be angry and not letting go? In the opposite way, how many times have you experienced giving something without expecting anything in return? How did you feel about that? I am sure there is always a joy we experience when we give something for other people. To see another person gain something, they are more happy, we will naturally be happy as well. We will have joy in helping others, in giving other people something. But how many times we choose to give? And how many times we choose to grab, to think that I'm not enough, I don't have enough, I need to save things for myself. A lot of things in our life we know, but we still choose otherwise. And this is what our readings invite us to reflect today. We know how wonderful God is through the creation, when we see the nature, when we see everything out there. We should know how great God is. But how many times we choose not to acknowledge God, but to ignore Him. And we know how much joy we have when we give our life, how much we should trust the Lord. But most of the time, we still want to be in control. Today we ask St. Elizabeth to pray for us because she is someone who understands very well that when we give our life to the Lord, we will have the true joy. She chose, she was a princess, she had everything in life, she is from the kingdom, but she chose to give everything she had, all her possession for the poor and to dedicate her life to care for the sick. As she gave her life for the Lord, she gained everything she ever needed in life. So sisters and brothers, we pray and we ask St. Elizabeth of Hungary to pray for us too, that we may follow her example to choose God, to trust God, to give our life for God, that we may have everything that we need in God. May God's peace be with all of us. As children of God, let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, Almighty God, on this feast day of Blessed Elizabeth of Hungary, that we may ever be fervent with holy desires and abound in good works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>